Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 16 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Well, we have just received the Zora's Sapphire for Princess Ruto, and now we're heading back to see Zelda in order to do something. Why is the drawbridge closed? Why are the torches lit? Why are things getting dark all of a sudden? Why? What's going on? Why is there a horse in the distance? Why are the gods pissed off? This doesn't seem right. Hello? Uh-oh. Suddenly it turned into a horror game. That's not good. Just what we needed. A Hello? Open sesame! A white horse and... This all seems very familiar. Zelda? And Impa! Okay, this is just like the dream we had when we were a kid. Okay, when well, we were a slightly younger kid. But anyway, Zelda just threw something into the moat. Okay, so are we gonna get go 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 Ganondorf? Oh crap. Oh crap. Hello, he looks familiar. I lost her. You, over there, little kid. Yeah? You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. Why would I answer anything you say, Mr. Big Scary Guy and the Big Scary Horse? So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. Too bad I'm gonna have to rip them out of ya. Piece of me. Very funny. I like your attitude. In fact, I like it so much. I think I'll take it down for myself. Ow! What the hell? Didn't even touch me. You pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will. Rule the world. Just what we needed. And off into the darkness he went. Into the rain and into the night, and he brought it with him, apparently, because boy, that cleared right the heck up, didn't it? That's kind of ominous. So, now what do we do? That, that wasn't that wasn't good. Okay, so we're back in Hyrule Field. What are we going to do now? Why, we're going to dive into the moat. Now, what is that? What's that? Said Navi, repeating exactly what I said. Anyways, it's what Princess Zelda dropped. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It blooms with a mystical light. As opposed to, I don't know, a blinking red traffic light. Adoraiju, can you hear me? It's Zelda. Adoraiju, when you hold the Sakarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. Oh god, that sounds horrifying. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. I understand, but... At least I could leave you the Ocarina, and this melody, somehow. Not sure how this works, but whatever. This song opens the door of time. Okay, play using A and C. Right A down. Remember this song, folks. You will remember it in the sequel game, and you will be hearing it a lot then. I like the song, though. You've learned the Song of Time! So what? You learned it from... The Void? I don't know, what's this... Wait, Fog, anyway. Doesn't make too much sense. Now, I'd arise you. Play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. How? You saw what that guy can do. What the heck am I gonna... And I'm... Got out of the moat somehow, and I'm back on dry land. 
Alright, whatever. Let's get the heck out of here. Wait a minute. Let me show you something. Way up on these chains. I want to straighten myself. You can walk right up them. And once you get up to the center of it, you can leap off and you can make a couple of rupees. And there's a bit of an Easter egg where if you land just right, you can break your knees. Screw it. I'm going in. If you land just right, you're supposed to be able to go right through the concrete, so it looks weird. Unfortunately, thanks to my broken knees. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to the market. Now, they mentioned finding the Temple of Time. Well, I already know where it is, but here's something you might not have known about. Not everybody knows about this bit because it's not really necessary for completing the game. But if you go back here, there's this guy who wasn't here before. <sighs> Are you the boy from the forest? I, I finally met you. I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but they broke my knees. The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. He's not moving anymore. Oh, God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're still hearing this happy music in the background. <laughs> Tiny bit unnerving. Anyways, we'll do exactly what he said. We're heading for the Temple of Time now. That's that big cathedral-like building up in that corner there. We haven't been here yet, but we'll be here plenty of times in the future. When you start a new game and soon enough, you're going to be starting it off in the Temple of Time. Previously, we, when we started up a new game, we started off in our house, but not no more. I like how the rug muffles our footsteps when we walk on it. It's a nice touch. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the ocarina of time and play the song of time. That is how the inscription reads. So. Well, we're the one who owns three spiritual stones, so let's stand here and toot that flute. And readjust ourselves because that is a painful leg cramp right now. I'm very sorry. Kind of killed the mood, but whatever. Anyways, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Those three th things raise up in the air, and I remember seeing a glitch where... Okay, the leg cramp's gone. I remember seeing a glitch where things just sort of fused and merged into one gem. That was kind of a weird one, but... Open says me. Cool. Alrighty. Now, this is the part where we've all been waiting for. Let's... No, no, no. This is the part we've all been waiting for. We head in here, see where the Sacred Realm goes. Adoraiju. Isn't that... A tiny little fairy? Yes, it is. that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Be even better if we heard anything at all about it before we played the game, but still pretty cool looking sword. Anyways, what do we do with this? Grab. Firmly grasp it. Yoink. Yes. Yes, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment where the bad guys theme kicks in. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. <laughs> yes, I owe it all to you, kid. I'll just nod here. <laughs> His evil laugh is even more nasally than mine. 
Adaraiju? Wake up. Adaraiju, the chosen one. Okay, snowstorm. Okay, pretty blue lights. That's a pretty blue light. Where am I? Who am I? Okay. Well, apparently I'm drunk. Well, there's a green and a yellow. What the? Hello, old dude. What do you have to say? I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Adaraiju, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Well, what do you know? We're a lot taller now than we used to be. You must have been put on a rack. Look, Adaraiju, you're big now. You've grown up. I grew up fast, didn't I? The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. That's not good. And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? I guess so. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years it transformed from Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. This chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, you get a price cream cone. The sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. No kidding. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. I pledge allegiance to the shiny thing in the sky. We got a gold coin. Of course, it's not really that, but whatever. You received the light medallion. Roar of the sage adds its power to yours. Just what we needed. Absolutely nothing of worth. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Okay. Back in the Temple of Time. And I'm not sure why everything seems to be so skewed and confused. Okay. Looks like... Looks like the waterfall has finished. And my clothes are all wet. Man! Not sure what that meant, but... I'd arise you. And arise you. We're back in the Temple of Time. But if seven years really passed, it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a chick kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Let's listen to her. She's the only one who makes any sense around this joint. Well, away we go. Hello? I smell something. Aha! Uh -huh. It's the medieval era. None of us bathes. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. You have? That's a little creepy. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. That sounds ominous. One inside a goddess of the sand. 
Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. Aren't you the optimist? This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. The Sheikah? I am Sheik, lone survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary Hero of Time. Well, sort of. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. All of them? One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Wait. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Agdaraiju? I think I do. Go to Kakariko, then to the forest. Yep, 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 I can remember that. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get going. Oh, and as an, as an adult, uh, you can't use the Deku Shield at all anymore, but fortunately you get the Hillian Shield. The great thing about the Hillian Shield is that, uh, oh yeah, you can't use anything that's marked in gray there. And we still can't... Okay, we can't use Ferrari's wood because we're inside the temple, never mind. Hmm. Screw it. Alrighty. So, whoa! What the heck happened to Death Mountain? Jeez. So, it looks like we've really got our work cut out for us. We gotta head to Kakariko to get inside the temple, then we gotta get inside the temple itself. We gotta chop up all these redeads. Oh my god, what happened to the market? That's not good. Fortunately, if you kill one redead, all the other ones will swarm around it, and I'm not sure why that is, but I don't want it now. Well, it's about time to head out on a brave new adventure. I'll see you next time when we head out on that adventure. Stay tuned.